Hello and welcome to MobileMix. In this video, we're going to go over some of the basic features of MobileMix, including your groups, adding your contacts, sending out your text messages, and of course, checking the incoming replies in your inbox. So to get things started, let's take a look at groups. So after clicking groups on the left navigation menu, we'll be taken to the edit and add groups page. Here we'll see a listing of all of our groups, and by default, your account will be started with keyword, test, and widget. To the right of each group, you're going to see a number in parentheses, and that number designates the number of contacts currently held within that group. So you can create as many different groups as you like to, so you can segment your contacts in as many different ways. Of course, when you're sending out your group messages, you'll send to a single group, multiple groups, or even just a single contact. If you want to add a new group, you click on the Add a New Group button, and then you can type out the group name and any notes you'd like to add for that group. After typing out the name that you desire and, and any notes, you can click on the Save button and you'll be taken back to the Edit and Add Groups page where you'll see that your changes were successfully saved. So we see our customers group is now in our account and it's listed here, but it has zero contacts. So now it's time to start adding contacts to that group. So if you already have a list of contacts and you just want to start getting them added into your account, you can click on the contacts option on the left navigation menu and then the add a contact button and you'll be taken to the add a contact page. On the add a contact page, you'll be able to manually type out the details of your contact and then you'll want to choose at least one group to add the contact to and then save your changes. You'll see that your contact has now been added to your contact list and you can make any changes you'd like to again by clicking on the phone number here. You'll see that it's in the cu customers group and the source is manually added. Now, if you're going to be adding a large list of contacts that have already opted in, you'll not need to add them one by one. You can click on the mass upload contacts option to upload your contacts. On the Import Contacts page, you can create a new group or you can choose a group from the drop-down menu to add your contacts to. You can choose the file you want to upload and you just want to be sure to use the formatting as shown below in the screenshot. Or you can click on the Paste Your Phone Numbers option and again, you'll want to follow the formatting as shown at the bottom of that page. Now, if you're uploading the file, you'll simply click on the Choose File button, select your file from your Explorer, agree to the terms, and then click Import Contact. You'll be redirected back to the Groups page, and if you refresh the page, you'll see at the top that four valid phone numbers have been added and or updated, one invalid phone number has been skipped, which was my header row, and I can look at the table and see that there are now five customers in my customers group. So if you already have existing opted-in contacts, you can add them manually, you can upload them, but now we're going to go over some of the ways that you can grow your list of opted-in contacts organically. So first, let's take a look at the Web Widget Creator option. The Build a Custom Web Widget page allows you to build these simple sign-up forms that you can post on your website, your Facebook fan page, or any other online location. So step one, you'll either allow your contacts to choose the groups they join, or you'll choose the groups for them if you keep the option No and I'm just going to choose the customers group. And next you'll choose the fields to display, which will be what you're asking your contacts to enter. The only piece of required information is going to be the phone number, so you won't be able to disable that. However, you can certainly disable or enable the first name, last name, and email address fields. The sign up widget header is what the contact is going to see to entice them to enter their information and sign up. Now, the successful sign-up header is going to be what the contact is going to see after they successfully submitted their information and joined your account. You can choose to include an optional text message auto-reply, or you can move on to step two, which is picking the type of widget you want to use. So you'll simply choose the hosted, the embeddable, or the Facebook widget. And after selecting the widget you want to make, you can go ahead and start editing the settings. For a hosted widget, you'll need to edit the name and then you can choose one of the buttons you want to use. You'll then preview the widget, and if everything looks the way you want it to, you go ahead and create the widget to generate the code. Once the code is created, what you'll do is copy that code and post it on your website, or you could take the link and send it out in an email, and your widget is live and people can start opting in right away. So, perhaps the most popular way for people to opt in is going to be the text to join feature enabled by your keywords. So let's explore keywords a little bit more now. 
So I'll click the Keywords option on the left navigation menu and then choose Browse Keywords. On the Edit and Add Keywords page, you'll see a listing of all the current active keywords in your account. Now I have the keyword Big Deals, and the keyword is what you're going to have people text to our short code 88202 to be added to your contact list and receive an auto reply. Now I've established the settings of my keyword here under the setting, and as we see, any contact that texts in will be added to the customers group which I've selected and they'll receive the auto reply I've added here. Now you can customize your auto reply to match any specific campaign you like. This particular auto reply was customized around an instant coupon campaign. Now I'm going to save my changes and my keyword is active. Anyone texting in will be added to the group and they'll be able to get that auto reply as well. You can add a keyword by clicking the add a new keyword button and the first thing you'll need to do is make sure it's available before activating and setting up the setting. Now that we've gone over the ways in which you can add contacts to your group and we've added some of our already opting in contacts, we can go ahead and start sending out our first text message by clicking the send text message button. So on the send a text message page, we'll see a listing of all of our groups and we'll simply click to choose the groups we want to send to. We can also add up to one additional single phone number if we want to send to an additional person outside of the group. And then we can be begin composing our message. Now, the subject is just going to be a part of your message as there's no special formatting with SMS texting. However, we're going to encase it in parentheses so it sort of sets itself apart from your message and you can just compose the body of your message as you desire, schedule the delivery at the date and time you want it to send, and then click the continue button. After clicking continue, you'll be taken to the preview page where you can review your message, the group it's going to, the method of delivery, and the number of credits it's going to take, also the date and time you're gonna send it. After confirming, you can click on the send message button, and you'll receive the confirmation that your message has been successfully sent. After clicking the send button, your message will be sent out instantaneously. So your customers will be receiving it and then they'll be replying and you can check those replies by clicking on the inbox option on the left navigation menu. The inbox shows you all of the incoming messages to your account. You'll see who the message is coming from and you can also see a preview of the message as well as the date and the time that that message was received. You can simply click on the preview and you can reply as well as do a number of other features in the inbox as well. So that about covers the basic features of MoboMix.com. Be sure to check out our other videos going over all the other features in depth. Thanks for watching.